take a break with us. It is time to catch up on day three of the PGA Championship. These guys know how it's done. Unfortunately, our Saturday began by wrapping up round two and saying goodbye to the likes of Phil Mickelson, who missed the cut for the first time since 1995 at the PGA Championship. The cut line was set at plus five, leaving behind defending champ Jimmy Walker, Masters champ Sergio Garcia, and open record setter Brandon Grace. But I know what could cheer you up. How about just the second ace on a par four in PGA Tour history? Just kidding, but it almost happened. Graham Dillette literally lipped out on his tee shot on the 344 yard par four 14th, and it was awesome. One of the hottest on the course in round three in the afternoon, the Canadian was six under through four holes with his near albatross, sparking a streak of back-to-back -back eagles. It was unreal. Open runner-up Matt Kuchar almost had the second ace of the week on 17, but Robert Streb did get his incredible approach for eagle on the 12th from 156 yards out to drop. If you remember, Streb tied major records at last year's PGA Championship, shooting a 63 at Baltus Rawl. Someone else with PGA Championship pedigree, Jason Day sunk a 42-foot putt on the 16th for his third birdie in a row to put him close, but then created a bit of distance with an eight on the par 4 18th. Our leaders, though, they didn't make many moves, setting us up for an interesting final round. Ricky Fowler believes he can be the seventh breakthrough major winner in the last eight tries this week at the very course he notched his maiden tour victory. He tweeted this out after his round, but a costly four over stretch in the green mile made his job that much harder on Sunday. Plus, he'll have to get through the likes of Kevin Kisner, who holds the one stroke lead at seven under. But imagine this. You notched your first PGA Tour victory just a week ago and are one back of the lead at a major championship. Yeah, pretty crazy. Chris Stroud is living that dream, hoping to parlay one maiden victory into another. T2 with Hideki Matsuyama, who is looking for back-to-back -back wins as well, but also to become the first major champion out of Japan. No pressure, guys. Louis Usaisen is willing to do anything for his second major championship, though, hitting an awkward shot right up against a tree on two that had him receiving treatment from a trainer for most of the day. The race is on for the final major of the season. Who will take home those coveted 600 FedEx Cup points? I'll fill you in on the Wanamaker news Sunday night in the takeaway. See you there.